As many of you have heard by now, the semi-independent current TV news channel has been bought out by Al Jazeera. Uh, previously, in October, Al Jazeera expressed its intent to buy the show. The Middle Eastern company has had a hard time uh, getting into the market of the United States. Uh, was just having a very hard time getting uh, a wide enough audience for them to like really break into the U.S. market. Now, what this will do is it will massively expand Al Jazeera, its uh, viewership, and will finally break into the United States. And it's important to note that uh, Al Jazeera is the state media of Qatar. Now, Current TV was actually started in 2005 by former uh, U.S. Vice President Al Gore. Built on a few key goals, to give voice to those who are not typically heard, to speak truth to power and provide independent and diverse points of view, and to tell stories that no one else is telling. Well, this statement is at least partially true. Now, this is what Al Jazeera had to say about purchasing the channel. Al Jazeera has the same goals, like current, believes the facts and truths lead to a better understanding of the world around us. Again, as mainstream media, this is only a partial truth, and uh, particularly not as of late. Now, they have had a lot of trouble getting into the U.S. market, uh, basically because of a lot of overwhelming stupidity around the matter. As we all remember, after the events of 9-11, just because Al Jazeera played tapes that Bin Laden had made, therefore, they were like supposed to be some kind of terrorist news outlet just because they actually played the Bin Laden tapes. Which is something our media didn't actually do, which actually would have been very useful. You would think that if there was a coming war, and supposedly this huge war that was you know, coming against us through jihad and whatnot, that we would actually hear the other side, what they're saying, so that we could better understand what was coming. But uh, understanding doesn't really work very, very well when you're trying to push a war that probably doesn't even actually exist. So, for that reason, Al Jazeera was seen as a terrorist network. I remember seeing the stuff on Mad TV where everybody said, Death to America at the end of every sentence or at the end of every report. And a lot of people said it was a terrorist news outlet, which made absolutely no sense. So, I was actually quite shocked the first time I actually did watch Al Jazeera. And then it was nothing like that. Of course, that was back in the day when Al Jazeera was actually pretty good. Now, the acquisition of Al Jazeera will now give them access to about uh, 60 million American homes, or three-fifths of the country's cable and satellite television numbers. According to a report in the New York Times Media Decoder blog, people with inside information on the deal claim that Al Jazeera will create a New York-based news team, while slightly under half the programming aired in the U.S. will be produced by Al Jazeera English. The buyout is expected to mean the close of most of Current's programming. Now, Current TV was actually a relatively unknown station that didn't have a lot of power in the American media until about 2011 when they managed to sign Keith Olbermann when he left MSNBC. And this was actually a fairly big scam, uh, scam at the uh, scandal at the time. Uh, the reason why Keith Olbermann left, I believe that he was too radical for them. Even in his liberal position, he was too radical for them and was not willing to pull enough of an Obama line, even though he actually fairly did. And I think that's actually what led to his dismissal. I think he shook too many cages, you know, within the context of the actual bourgeois media. I mean, he was by no means a real radical or anything, but he did have his own way of doing things and was probably not willing to cooperate on a lot of issues that MSNBC wanted portrayed a certain way. And I think that's why he's gone. And I think that may have been why he actually left current TV as well. I think he perhaps may have been too radical even for current TV and probably challenged what it was that, say, like Al Gore, who did on the channel, uh, didn't want them, didn't want him to be saying. Although, I cannot help but make a joke out of this. Al Jazeera is supposedly terrorist. Al Jazeera purchases Current TV. Current TV owns the Young Turks. According to conservatives, the Young Turks support the terrorists. But now the Young Turks are owned by the terrorist organization Al Jazeera. Oh my god, they were right all along.
honest to God, I could not help myself. I Too many times I've heard in the, the comments section of Young Turks videos about how they're supposedly helping the terrorists because liberals love the terrorists and they want to destroy America. And they believe Al Jazeera is a terrorist organization. And now Al Jazeera owns the Young Turks show on current TV. I just thought that was so funny. Although, aside from that, I, I think it's actually going to be very interesting to see exactly what does happen with the Young Turks now that Al Jazeera takes over. And I think it would be very, very interesting to see if the Young Turks are even going to say anything about it. I haven't seen them say anything about it yet, but I haven't been keeping up 100% on their uh, news coverage. But uh, I think it's going to be very, very interesting.